Sup guys, Jordan here. Today we're gonna to be going through how to close clients on LinkedIn. This is using the same strategies that I learned in corporate sales when I used to secure meetings with the CEOs of multi-billion dollar conglomerate companies. Now, before we get into the video, make sure you are subscribed with your notification bell turned on. And let's get started with the video. Now, first of all, this video is not just for people in social media marketing. This is for anybody who uses LinkedIn as a sales tool, okay? Any industry, whether you use it for lead generation or even to sell on, okay? I'm gonna be going through everything I learned in a corporate sales job when I used to use LinkedIn on a daily basis to get hundreds and hundreds of leads. Um, I mean, I literally used to reach out to conglomerate construction companies over in the Middle East and sell them advertisement packages for between $6,000 and $12,000. I mean, I spoke to Universal Studios studio, C-level executives. I've spoke to massive companies in oil and gas. I mean, multi billion dollar companies. I'm going to run you through some of the case studies on my LinkedIn. So I'm actually going to be going on my LinkedIn in this video and I get sales pitched every single day on the platform. So I'm going to be critiquing all of those sales messages. So apologies if you pitched me on LinkedIn recently. I'm about to grill your sales pitch and talk about why they're bad and where people go wrong and why people aren't having success with their sales pitches. Because back in the day when I used to use LinkedIn, it was fair game, okay? If you had any kind of sales wit, you were gonna clean up. Now, everybody is pitching on LinkedIn, okay? You accept a request, you get an instant message comes through, and I just wanna show you how bad this is as a business owner, how many pitches you get. You guys aren't gonna believe how many people are pitching me on my inbox on a daily basis. So if you are using LinkedIn as a sales tool right now and your pitch is not perfect, then you are just falling into the list of others who are just losing because their pitches are unpersonalized and they're I'm not gonna get into that right now. Let's just, let's tell you what, let's go onto the computer, we'll spin round and uh, yeah, let's go straight onto my LinkedIn. Okay, so we're on my LinkedIn profile right now and I'm just really gonna quickly gonna run through this. I haven't been on this in a long, long time. Um, I don't barely use it. I just come on, log on and accept my requests. Uh, but my LinkedIn profile is set up pretty well. I've got around 5,000 connections. Here are actually some of the articles that I wrote for that previous company who I uh, said about, not I didn't write these articles, but these were um, features. Here, this is where I actually met Dubai Park Resorts and uh, the owners of Universal Studios. I think I got a testimonial from them as well somewhere. Yeah, George Walker, one of the, he's the creative director at Universal Creative Studio, which is Universal Studios. Um, these are all multi-conglomerate, billion and million dollar companies, um, huge, huge companies, loads of endorsements. So, just, just a few things that you want to look out for in your profile. You want to try and get some recommendations off your peers. You can get your, your peers in the industry to do this for you. So not just clients, but you can get like your um, people, other people on the same journey as you. You can get them to endorse you as well. And these all build your credibility. Put your education on, your certifications, your jobs on there. Make sure that your actual job is listed as the company, not as like a blank one like this one. Make sure it's a full of actual company. And have your uh, your bio filled out and your um, tagline. So mine's just founder at Platinum Enterprises, but you could have, I help restaurants get more clients per month using social media. You have something that directly calls out to your audience. I don't use this to get clients um, anymore, so I don't need to have that. Make sure you got a profile and a cover photo as well. Now, let's go straight into this and look at messages, okay? Because I get pitched on here on a daily basis and I just want to critique some of these pitches because some of them are quite frankly ridiculous. I mean, okay, so we've had six pitches today alone. So I want you to know that if you're using, if you're using LinkedIn to network, to network or to use sales pitches, this is what it's like. I mean, I probably get not many pitches compared to what some people get. So imagine if your prospects like inbox all look like this. They're getting so many messages every single day. So you need to stand out and look personal. So let's just go through a few of these. Singer, uh, I noticed we're part of the same LinkedIn group, blah, blah, blah. Rubbish, I don't know, I have a clue what you're on about. I'm not part of any LinkedIn groups. Um, that's someone about my book. I'll read, read that later. That's someone about YouTube. Um, Elliot, um, hi, Jordan, we've been connecting for a few days. You launched social chats and you've been working with companies. I'll see results and blah, blah, blah. I haven't even read what it's about. You're going straight into a sales pitch. You haven't said anything personal. For all I know, you just copy and pasted my name to a thousand different people. Jenny. Okay, I can already tell this is salesy as hell. Hi, Jordan, your LinkedIn success is important to us at GrowFX. Load of rubbish, copy and pasted, not interested in it, okay? 
Hi, Jordan. As you know, no, I, I, I don't know, actually. I, Simon, I'm afraid I do not know you. I've never heard of you before, and you've sent me a copy and pasted message. So this is exactly what I'm getting to. All these messages, copy and paste, there's nothing personal. Nothing personal in any of these messages. Nothing personal in any of these messages. Nothing personal. Okay, I'm going to skip through these because it's just ridiculous. Oh, okay, here we go. We've got something personal. Uh, Ajvesh, uh, as a digital marketer, my restaurant, uh, my research has been based on digital factors. I went through your website, Jordan Platten, and I guess you need to make some changes to the SEO. You've helped several businesses increasing their clientele in the solar industry. Oh. <laughs> I think he missed out here. This is where he messed up. He cop- he's been sending this to people in the solar industry. I'm sorry, Advesh, I'm not in the solar industry, my man. Um, this was this was an okay pitch, though. If this was like in digital marketing industry, blah, 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 then it, this would be a, like a more direct pitch and more personal because at least he's gone through the effort of putting my website in here. Okay, um, yeah, I'm just going to go through some of these. Uh, yeah, more sales pitches. Okay, so this is someone who's actually managed to follow up. This is interesting. Someone's actually followed up on me. Um, so what? Uh, nothing personal, though. Nothing to say to me that he knows what my business does or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, it's just impersonal. So what I'm trying to get at here is all this outreach is so impersonal. None of it is direct to me. Um, let me just see. Just make sure. Yeah, no... N- None, none of this is direct. None of this says exactly that people have done their research on me. None of this shows that they genuinely want to speak to me, okay? These are all impersonal outreach, and it's just got such a sour taste in my mouth because nobody's made the effort to personally reach out to me, okay? All of these people are just copy and pasting messages to loads of people, and some of these, when you accept a request from them to match, to um, connect with them, they literally send you the pitch within minutes afterwards. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm actually just going to load up a, I'm trying to find a random prospect, um, and this isn't just about social media marketing, so I won't, don't want to make it too much about that. So I'm going to find a random prospect and uh, just see what we can find, okay? So let's have a look for managing directors in the fitness industry. Fitness industry, and let's do uh, locations. Let's do London. We'll apply. Maybe not managing directors. I want to be managing director. Let's see what we can find. Let's just have a look through a few of these. What have we got? Ah. Looks like I've visited this profile before. Anna, who are you? Why have I visited your profile before? I have no clue. But whilst we're on, let's have a look. I have no clue who you are. Waterhouse Young Clinic. Let's have a look at their website. Waterhouse Young. Okay, whilst we're here, we're just going to use this as an example because now I've gone off on a tangent. Okay. Um, Oh, I've opened it twice. Okay, so you are a aesthetics clinic. Okay, great. I would probably reach out to these, actually. This probably... I, I may have reached out to them. I'm not sure. About us. Look, what I'm trying to look at for here is, is a way for me to personally reach out to these guys, okay? Blog, okay? I need something personal. 2018. No, that's not really ideal. Okay. Um, what have we got? What have we got? Have you got anything else on here? Have you got, like, an Instagram profile somewhere that I can look at? I want something personal. I want to. I want to be able to reach out. To, oh, here we go. Instagram. I want to be able to reach out to these guys personally and see if there's anything that I can pick up on. Let's have a look at one of their latest posts. What's this about? As the clocks go back this weekend, we're looking for ways to embrace the seasonal shift. After all, the days might be shorter and the nights darker, but what could be nice an autumn evenings curled up in front of a fire with a good book and a glass of wine. Okay, this is perfect. <laughs> okay, great. Now I can message Anna. And this is as simple as it would be, okay? Now, if you're on LinkedIn normally, you'd have to click connect and then send her a message. I think I'm on normal premium. I am. So I can send her an email. Um, or you can get her email address and send her a message. No matter what you're doing, this is the kind of thing you would want to do. And this is not just one script I follow. This would be off the cuff, no matter who I'm reaching out to, okay? If I'm trying to network and trying to get clients, this is what I would do. So, hey, Anna, I... Um, I just saw your recent Instagram post about autumn evenings. I too am looking forward to reading a good book in front of the fire. I actually do quite like that. In front of the fire. Not 
not excited for those early, those uh, dark mornings, though. I've actually been meaning to contact you. I was on your eye regarding... So this will be anything, no matter what industry, regarding your digital marketing strategy. I was on your Facebook. Now, normally I would check out to see if they're a good client. I haven't got the time because of this video, but normally I would check out to see if they're a good client and if they're leaving money on the table. So I was on your Facebook profile earlier and could see you're leaving a lot of money on the table. Would love to share some ideas with you. Are you available over the next few days for 15 minutes? Speak soon. This is completely made up on the spot. Okay, but this message is going to get a response, or this message is going to warrant a response because I'm demanding respect here. Okay, what? No, I'm not demanding respect. I'm giving respect. I'm saying, hey, Anna, look, I've seen your content. I'm reaching out to you personally. Okay, I'm only reaching out to you, Anna, because I want to work with you. I saw your Instagram post, but actually, I've been meaning to contact you, and you want to act like this with everybody. You want to act off the cuff. Do make the effort to reach out to someone personal. Not one single person in my inbox has reached out to me personally. Not one single person has done their research to say, hey Jordan, I was on, the, um, on your YouTube the other day and I love this video you've just done. By the way, I really think that I could improve this on your business. If they said that, then I know they're actually interested in my business. This shows Anna that I actually am interested in her business. I've actually done the research to look into other areas of it, okay? Look into her Instagram profile. So what I'm trying to get at here is no matter what sales industry you're in, okay? Whether you're networking on LinkedIn, whether you're trying to close clients, just make connections, or whatever you're trying to do, always reach out personally. Always make the effort. Make the effort in sales. I would much rather, and this is why I was successful in all my sales jobs, I would rather spend an extra five minutes on five prospects reaching out to five people than spend, than spend five minutes sending 20 messages to 20 people, copy and paste it to all of them. Because I'm going to have more success with these five. Okay, It's worth the extra time to go through the effort to give somebody the respect and they will give you respect back. So guys, that is the end of this video. It probably went on for a little bit longer than expected. I hope you got a ton of value from this. Please do let me know if you did. If you've got any other suggestions or anything below regarding LinkedIn or direct messages, then please do drop them down and share this video with somebody else who will get value with it, uh, value from it. And I'll be back again very, very soon. See you later, guys.